but with the upcoming release of Elemental Hero Infernal Rage coming in the new Brothers of Legend set, it's very important and essential that we revisit our lines and our plays and even how we build our decks. In today's video, we go over our extenders, which is very important because it unlocks our inner Neos power. Michael Bowden back here again, and I am your host, Destiny Hero Mike. And welcome back to the time. We're here, baby. It's always D time and in more ways than one. And before we go into unleashing our Neos power, it's a couple of announcements. These awesome D time deck boxes over at dtimeexclusives.com, they're almost sold out. So, especially the end date is the 16th. And, you know, that's going to be the final day for these to get these. So, these are almost gone. So, get what you can, what's available while you can. And everybody who's made their purchase, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. There's going to be more projects to come. We're going to be doing more awesome hero art. Hey, man, we, we're, we're all heroes, baby. We're for heroes, baby. So I can't wait to come out with some new uh, hero art for you guys. A lot of guys have been asking for Neo stuff, things like that. So i got some surprises for you guys in the upcoming future. And as always, thank you so much to the channel D-Time YouTube memberships. You guys are the real heroes. And without a little way, let's go ahead and hop right into these extenders. Right, so before I get too deep into this video, if you guys missed the previous video, this is the sequel of the first video. Go check that out. Where we talk about our starters here. We So I'm gonna briefly gloss over our starters. I just have them here for reference, but we're not gonna go into these guys because it's in the previous video. So go check that out. There will There is now a playlist for this. Uh, tutorial for leading up to the flame wingman to get uh, especially the newer players the newer hero players up to par and updated because heroes are now changed fundamentally I think forever going forward so we want to jump on that even before the guy comes out right now it is the best time to do that so we're gonna talk about our extender so again so just a brief recap these are our starters and these are our what I call our immediate extenders okay so Starters and media extenders and with that out of the way because if you need to watch a previous video if you are already if you haven't already We're gonna get into our extenders extenders is what I call it <laughs> like so starting with Extra hero wonder driver and like I said, this is in depth. We're gonna go into depth We're gonna take our time and go into this so what the extra hero wonder driver does it consists of two hero monsters so any of your two hero monsters again this is why this is these are where your starters come in but i'm pretty sure you guys already know that you're going to need your uh your starters to go into these that's how you're going to go into this guy uh yeah yeah extenders you thought it was going to be the main deck no extenders are actually the extra deck i consider them of the extra deck category i have these i actually have these all like perfectly laid out so just in case you're wondering so if you're an older hero player you're like hey this is an extender this is an extender this is actually a true extender so he requires two hero monsters and what he does is if you summon a hero say for example any hero in the zone in the link zone that he points to uh then you can target a Again, this is why we went over this, a polymerization in your graveyard or a fusion spell or a mass play or, or, or a uh, mass change quick play spell and you can set it to your spell or trap card zone face down. And if it's a normal spell card, yes, you can use it again within that same turn. So that is his first effect. His other more niche effect is if he's destroyed by battle, I believe, he can summon a hero from the hand, any hero. So if you're playing, perfect example, the new spirit of Neos. So you can summon the new spirit of Neos from your hand. Boom, if you destroy by battle, which is really, you know, you know, I, or I don't know if he says card effect. We want to make sure that he says card effect. No, just straight up destroyed by battle, and he has to go to the graveyard. So it's very niche. It's very rare. It doesn't doesn't come up very often, but that's not why we use them. We use them to recycle that polymerization, which is very important. And guess what? The next extender, Infernal Divisor. Yes. Yes, Extra Hero Infernal Divisor is the new mandatory extender. So well, he's a fiend monster, and just like Wonder Driver, he requires two hero monsters. I might just have to stop to read his effect because he has a uh, plus power-up gain, but we're not going to get into that. Immediately, not right off the bat, the most important thing is that on summon, he can add, he can reveal, so we're going to go ahead and show him, 
uh, for a reference. I want to make sure I have him laid out here. Yes. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to we're going to talk about fling, uh the new shining Neils, shining Neils fling wingman uh, a bit later. Uh, uh, we're going to extend his explanation just a bit later here. But you're going to reveal something like your shining Neils wingman, and you're going to add your uh, add a hero or up to two. Okay, I'm going to I'm not going to say who, but this is just for example. So we're going to reveal him, and we can reveal up to two uh specified names on that targeted on, on the reveal monster to our hand so if you're playing like neo spatians you know if we're, if, we're, if we're playing the uh, nebula neos usually that's pretty popular add to up to two neo spatians two names but for this deck for omni hero or you know standard hero we're just going to be revealing the one this is why i point him out and we're going to add the element of hero neos from deck to hand so uh, yeah, so we're gonna be adding the element of hero Neils from deck to hand on summon very important uh, For that play that is just it's just we have an additional we get to keep going. It's just insane very important We need that uh, the new shining Neils uh, setup so the next extender <clears throat> Excuse me by the time we've gotten to these the next guy we're gonna go to now We all know we're all waiting for him our hero our saver the new elemental hero, Infernal Rage. I don't have him. I did the best I could. I mean, at least we've got a secret rare. This is the proxy. The elemental hero, Flame Wee Man. <laughs> excuse me. Infernal Rage. Now, one second. I did not go over the Infernal Divisor's power-up effect because I believe I believe that requires fiend monsters so uh, to gain attack. So for each fiend monster on the field... I think each other fiend monster that he points to, so he gains attack and defense. Very niche, so unless you're playing something like, I just want to mention it, unless you're playing something like the evil hero, uh, Malicious Bane, who's a fiend, then that might apply, but it's very weird. You're not going to use it. Trust me, you're not going to use it. Uh, unless you're playing a fiend evil hero build, but you're not going to use it. So, what the Elemental Hero Flame Wingman Infernal Rage does, this is the proxy, okay? Can't wait to really show them off. Can't wait till we really get them. But this is uh, the perfect placeholder. So just pretend. So what he so he requires two uh, hero monsters with different attributes, and I believe he has two effects. Now I don't believe he definitely does have two two effects. On summon, he can add a favorite card, a favorite card, a favorite like spell or trap from deck to hand. So I'm going to show it for example. It's going to add your favorite contact from your deck to your hand, and boom, very important. And then, his bonus effect, which is very important, because by the time, because we're going to go over uh, the Neos, by the, by the time you summon him, you, you, you would have summoned him with the Neos that you added by the Infernal Divisor. But just to keep it clear, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't want it too uh, convoluted. But to keep it clear, I know you guys are talking about, oh man, Carl Crusader, don't worry, he's coming up. Don't worry, he's, he's definitely an extender, but there's a caveat to Cross Crusader in particular. So, uh, so if you use a normal monster, that Neos that you added by the Infernal Divisor, uh, you can tribute him, and ignoring the monster's summoning condition, you can summon a, I believe, level, I think is it 8 or 7, level 8 or 7 or lower uh, hero monster from your level 7 or lower, no, it's not 8, level 7 or lower hero monster, that cannot be normal summon or special summon uh, by any other way from your main deck, which is very interesting. So I guess it wants you. It can you can summon a Neos, but you cannot summon Spirit of Neos. So keep that in mind. Or the Sunrise from your deck. So usually it's there's no other target. We're gonna go for the Sunrise. So that's if you use the neos as fusion material which again we've already searched the neos the vanilla neos with the the normal monster with the infernal divisor so we get two effects we're literally getting two cards out of this because then we tribute for we tribute them to summon the sunrise there's nobody else you're going to go for and then the sunrise of course goes to grab your miracle fusion i don't call this an extender it's more of in the power extender category so it's deep. This is why we're talking about this in depth. It's deep. So that is your Elemental Hero Sunrise. We no longer bring out Sunrise just 
uh, with two hero monsters anymore. We do that by way of the f we summon him by way of the flame wingman now, and yeah, so uh, very, 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 very important. We don't just bring him out straight up. Now he's the new standard uh, heroes of two uh, attribute, two different attribute hero monsters. And by the way. You don't always have to uh, use the Neos, just in case you're in some sort of weird situation. And then there's, but you won't be able to summon the Sunrise. So sometimes you might even have to skip up the the, the new Wingman and just bring out, go go straight into Sunrise if you really need that Miracle Fusion. And lastly, he's a part of the, he's an extender, but he's also a part of the Power Extender category, the uh, Extra Hero Crocsusator. And I'll explain why that is after we uh, go over his effect. So, this guy, he's goaded. He absolutely needs even a foil. He's just that powerful, that important. But what he does is, on summon, well, first of all, he already locks you into hero. So, you gotta, but by then, you already, you're already locked into hero by the, we already went over it, the Ferris. The Vision Hero Ferris. But what he does is, on summon, you could target a Destiny Hero. It has to be a Destiny Hero monster. This is why I have a caveat, ca caveat to him. Because these plays are now more important than, almost more important than the uh, Destiny Hero line in a way. They're, they're just as, if not more important. But this is the Destiny Hero line, this is Destiny Hero family. So on summon, you could target a Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Something like, very commonly, we went over it, a Destiny Hero malicious and special summon it. Then the second effect is you can tribute a Destiny Hero monster, it has to be a Destiny Hero monster, to add at that point any hero from your deck to your hand he is very very important but he's he's more of the he's in the power extender category but uh, i don't put him as an immediate uh extender because we don't always have access to a destiny hero uh leading up to the cross crusader we don't always have access to a destiny hero so sometimes he might just be turned off but that's why even if we now if we don't have the destiny hero Man, that wingman line will back us up, even if we don't have a access to a destiny hero for that turn. So, while he's very important, while he's the most powerful, I would say of all of them, in my opinion, of all of these extenders, even more powerful than Sunrise, uh, and even the wingman play, because he's just that important. You need a destiny hero monster. So there's a caveat. Yes, he's an extender amongst these, but he's he's more of a power extender. Speaking of power extenders, we're gonna jump into the power extenders, okay? Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit more lengthy than the first one, I believe, because there is a lot to unpack here. There are some things we're going to go over, but I'm not going to cover absolutely everything in this video uh, because there's just a lot to unpack here. So, uh, so we, we're going to spread out our videos across. So, if you're liking what you're seeing, this is a perfect point. This is, this is a perfect point to like this video and, leave, and subscribe because we got more coming. We got more on the way. So, it's a perfect point to do that. While we're already midway through the video, so we already talked about the Cross Crusader. We're gonna put rank him amongst us. He's a hybrid, so power extenders uh, are your elemental hero Neos because you absolutely need it. That's in a perfect world. Say we don't draw him, we're gonna search him. If we if we uh, don't search him, then we're just gonna have to play accordingly. If we hard drew him, we don't want to draw him. But the same thing goes for the. Uh, Favorite contact, another card we don't want to draw, but it is our extender slash power card. Extender slash power play, uh, because it is in the set. It, these guys are also in the set play category. Well, these two in particular, they're in the set play category. I wouldn't consider this set play, but it is set play if we have a Destiny Hero. So I don't consider it automatically set play, but we need uh, without a Destiny Hero first. But these are set play, and we don't want to draw them, but they're very important extenders, okay? So they're like, they're like our power extenders. So you're gonna have to excuse my. You might hear some AC, but you don't have to excuse that. So those are our power extenders. Next is the same with Miracle Fusion. You're gonna search that with your Wonder Driver. Same power extender. You don't want to draw it. You only you only want these are the guys that you only want to ever have to search. And in his own so yeah, Miracle Fusion, and of course in his own category, I'm gonna place the. Uh, Destiny Hero Denier in the Power Extender. He's not in the immediate extenders because, again, we don't always have access to him. But once we get him, he's just that much more powerful. Cross Crusader is often going to search into something like a Denier if we don't have a Fusion Destiny. And we're going to talk about Fusion Destiny. There's a reason why I don't have Fusion Destiny as a starter. We're going to talk about that here in a bit. 
we're gonna just gloss over it but by the end of this video we're going to do an example play with our uh heroes with our set play heroes so so these are our power extenders so uh, again we don't always have access to denier i don't consider him an immediate extender he's more of a power extender if we have access to him by means of a fusion destiny or the cross crusader or something else okay so uh, or even if we send it by the vion or something like that so boom those are our power extenders very very important now i want to talk about our power plays okay our inboards slash power plays i'm just going to gloss over them i'm going to give them their own dedicated video but i'm gonna, just going to gloss over them because it's very important the first guy that i want to talk about is the first card i want to talk about is fusion destiny now there's a reason i don't talk about this as a starter but really briefly what it does is you sit on activation you send heroes from your deck or your hand to the graveyard uh listed on a destiny hero monster or a destiny i don't think destiny and dragoon but you can summon destiny and dragoon but that's not who we're going over so usually you're going to summon a uh destiny hero destroyer phoenix enforcer it's me it's me d p e but we consider this a power play this is a power card and we have to hard draw it it's not a starter because there's no way for us to really hard draw it and it locks us in the dark hero so therefore yeah it, it can substitute as a starter but it locks us into hero it locks us in the hero right off the uh, sorry it locks us into dark hero right off the bat and by the way your destiny hero is going to be destroyed by the end of the next turn but that's not really uh relevant here at you know uh in this point of the video but uh yes this is a power play this is after you've already used your starters this is your backline power play, okay? You already used your hero lives. You already used your straddles. You already baited out other hand traps. You already got them to use other hand traps. You got you already forced them to use that ash by the time you drop that fusion destiny. It's a very scary card, but it's a power play. And it it's it's it can even it which leads to even more extenders. Now again, like I said, it can act as a starter, but what happens if they have a hand trap, that's it. That is it. So I don't consider this a true starter. It's can substitute as that, but no. Very important. It's a backline card. Keep that in mind. So the next things that we want to talk about, speaking of backline, are it's me, it's me, D P E. I'm gonna go over a Destiny Hero specific video and the purpose and what they do and how they play. But we just want to categorize everybody just to get everybody familiar with what they do and who they are. But Everybody knows who DPE is, what he does. Level 8, Dark Warrior. A Destiny Hero, a, a Destiny Hero monster plus a level 6 or higher hero monster. And what he does is either player's turn, quick effect. Well, first, first, he has a continuous effect. It's a floodgate effect. He reduces the opponent's monster by 200 attack for each mo each hero monster in your graveyard, which is like insane that card that card effect is, is insane in hero then he can as a quick effect does he has three effects which is insane it's a quick effect he can destroy one monster on the one card on the field and a, and one card on your side of the field so first one card on your side of the field is the requirement and then one card on the field so your field or the opponent's side of the field uh very important and then then if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect during the next standby phase i believe of the next turn you can summon a destiny hero monster from your graveyard and he does not target so very important boss monster but because we're talking about fusion destiny i thought i'd go over this but again believe it or not guys we don't always have access to these so we don't always have access to these believe it or not but he can be a part of set play if we have a destiny hero monster however i don't consider uh fusion destiny a set play card because we don't always have access to it Yes, the ooh, next up is the Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman. Very important. That's we already have it in, automatically set up after we uh, added our contact and gone through our uh, Flame Wingman and Neos play. So we've already gone over that. So what he does is there's so many effects. <laughs> so what he does is you, you're gonna need your Neos. Your Neos monster and your Wingman monster. Hello, boom, right? And you're gonna bring them out using the trap card. So, really briefly, yeah, just to you know, 
just for reference. You're going to bring them out using your trap card. But on summon, or actually, oh, we're going to go over his continuous effects. So what he does is he's going to destroy... Ah, ooh, I'm getting ahead of myself. He gains 300 attack for each, I believe, monster in your graveyard. So by the time you bring this guy out, he's going to be huge. All right, he, He's going to be absolutely huge because he gains 300 for each, I believe, monster for each graveyard i believe for, for in your graveyard yeah that's insane for each just straight up monster in your graveyard so heroes are really beefy they really bounce they really dpe and uh, uh neil sweeney man complement each other very well he's going to reduce your monster's attacks and also he's going to be gaining but that's not the reason we bring him out uh if this card is special summon so it could be special summoned by the trap card ignoring it's special it doesn't say thank god it doesn't say fusion summon so great design on Konami. If this card is special summon, you can destroy, doesn't target, just like DPE. They mirror each other in a way. You see, if we put them this way, they mirror each other just like the playmat, which I should have used the official playmat for this, but we'll do that in a later video. That's fine. It, it, it's totally okay. This is a trading video. You can destroy cards on the field equal to the amount of different attributes, including itself on the field. So if you have like, usually you're going to add a minimum, you're going to be popping at least two. Possibly three, but a minimum two. And again, uh, it's your power play, and it's towards the end of their turn or or an interrupt. And also, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. So he's really strong. He's a semi towers because by the time you summon him, he can't with a favorite contact. He cannot be summoned. I mean, he cannot be returned the favorite contact. He cannot be returned to the extra deck. Uh, by either player so they can't spin him back with like a unicorn or something like that a nightmare unicorn or something like that so that is just insane so he can't be destroyed by card effects and he stacks by not being able to be destroyed by not being able to be returned by like a compulsory or something like that uh, if you're going against labyrinth they tend to play that card so this card is crazy he can't be di dogmatic of punishment or bounce or anything like that they have to attack him in battle or they have to non they have to banish him or something like that they have to banish him and yeah so which is very tough to do uh, these days with these decks so uh it's you know cash to rise heart but that's a whole different situation that's a whole other i think different kind of video so and then really briefly i want to mention it destiny hero plasma and your destiny hero dark angel these are your in boss monster slash power plays i consider these power plays by the time you have your dpe you're going to summon your dark angel and again by the time you have your dpe you're probably going to summon your uh destiny of plasma because it is going uh because you have your extenders such as your malicious we've i think we've already gone over it your malicious and denier and which really fuels these two but again we're going to have our own destiny hero video and the importance of the destiny hero i i, I just this is gonna just just know just know this stops your opponent's spell cards because we're saving that because we're getting long in this video this stops your opponent's spell cards this stops your opponent monster effects but i just thought i'd give them a uh, brief mention so i just thought i'd give your your destiny heroes brief mention because they are very important but the star play and the mandatory set play is going to be your wingman he's guaranteed uh, almost every game in a fair hand that you don't you know brick terribly now i'm not going to be going into the full combo uh, i'm going to say that for a later video we're not we're not quite there yet but i will give a brief example of how we summon and the way you want to do it and how it what it looks like when you're summoning him and i'm just gonna leave a, a brief mention that yeah if you're going second you can literally bring him out off of a miracle fusion which is just insane by the time you do that you can bring out either your wake up your e-hero absolute zero or now we have the new option of the uh, I just want to give mention of the Shining Neil Swingman. So I just want to give mention of that. We have Miracle Fusion. If we're going second, you know, we want to save that. But usually going first, we have the set trap. I'm going to go ahead and put the Miracle Fusion off to the side. We have the set trap, favorite contact, and what that does. I don't. Did I go over it? I, if I did not go over it, here is the perfect time to go over that. From your field, graveyard, or even the banish zone. So let's say these guys got banished. You can return the fusion material uh, listed on the fusion monsters to the to the deck, and if it is Neos, if it's a Neos monster, you can place them to the bottom of your deck in any order. Meaning you don't have to shuffle the Neos back in. You know, that way, because Neos can kind of be a brick if you don't have engine with it. 
but he goes at the bottom, which is a very nice touch. And that monster uh, cannot be returned to the extra deck uh, or be returned back to the deck if you used uh, Neos, I believe. So that's what it does. And what it looks like is usually by now, these guys are going to be in your graveyard. And then you're going to be doing this on your opponent's turn. You can use it as an interrupt or wait till the opponent's in phase or whatever. Whatever uh, is the situation. Uh, this, this is going to be this is going to destroy the Labyrinth deck, by the way, because you're going to blow up their back row during the end phase. But favorite contact. Boom. Uh, they can ghost bell it, so be careful. But we're going to go ahead and put these. We're going to put our, our new Flame Wingman to the extra deck. That's what it looks like. And we're going to put our Neos to the bottom of our deck. And we're going to summon the Shining Neos Wingman. And we get an immediate pop of one attribute. And then if we have more, such as the... Usually, you're going to have a DPE on the field, too, by the time you bring this out. And that's at least two cards. But you're killing their resources. By the way, DPE is also a pop. So that's three pops. That's at least three pops that you have. This deck is going to be absolutely insane, guys. And I cannot wait to get into these insane combo videos and deck profiles. I'm very excited to show you guys. But, yeah. And that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this was very helpful. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you guys want more of this stuff. You guys uh, responded very, very positively. Uh, about you know the previous video so we're gonna be pumping these out like as much as i can up until the release of infernal wingman and we will continue to do so so really appreciate you guys absolutely thank you guys so much and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one